they would catch him, and they did. Investigators say Pierre Brayman left his wife to die after a car crash on the west side of Carter Lake. He had been on the run for nearly a month. Well, that ended today when the Fugitive Task Force caught him on Camden Avenue. KATV News Watch 7's Abby Peterson is here with the story. Abby? This is Tiffany Brayman, a beloved mother of four. Tonight, her family tells us they finally can stop looking over their shoulders now that her husband is in jail. It was when Pierre Brayman was being put in handcuffs on Monday that Sue Costello says she got the call that the man accused of leaving her daughter to die had finally been caught. I started crying because with him going to jail, it's going to bring my daughter back. 37-year-old Tiffany Brayman died April 26th. Police say her husband rolled their car, then ran off. Tiffany was thrown from the wreckage. Had it wouldn't have been for those two witnesses that were trying to revive her, she would have just laid there by herself until who knows what have found her. The break in the case came Monday morning when the Metro Fugitive Task Force arrested Brayman on Camden Avenue. It's a relief to know exactly where he is at and no, like, he's not coming here because he knew where we all lived. Like, he's not going to know. He's not, he's not out here. Police booked him for leaving the scene of a deadly crash. They say charges are pending. I was happy. I was, because now we know my mom can get justice. Tiffany's family wants Brayman punished, and they hope the judge keeps him in jail without bond. This is the last draw that he did to her. He needs to pay for what he's done. As they fight for justice, they know she can finally rest at peace now that Brayman's off the streets. She's not in pain. She's free. <laughs> she knows she knows her kids are okay. <laughs> She's definitely free. We don't know yet when Brayman will make his first court appearance, but Tiffany's family says they will be at every court hearing. Back to you.